Madden Gods. Perfect. Welcome to Tips Gamers. Today we are going to be doing a Panthers realistic rebuild. We're going to go five years. If you guys want to see us do more than five years, let's see if we can get to 200 likes and then we'll do five years. And uh, I'm going to keep these franchises for probably about mm, two weeks, something like that. So you guys have two weeks to get it up to uh, get it up to 200 likes. And let's see how far you guys can get that. Make sure to subscribe if you guys like what we do because 75% of our viewers are not subscribed. And uh, if you guys want the great content that we produce, subscribing and clicking that notification bell will keep you guys up to date with the content that we release. And with that being said, also, what do you guys think the record is going to be for the Panthers this year? You think they're going to be above 500, below 500 playoff contending team, what have you? All right, so we're going to obviously be rocking Bryce Young. We're going to take a look at Bryce Young, dive down deep into him here. Um, I don't see his captain patch. Okay, so he's ideal sense of pressure, ideal decision maker, not too terrible there. Um, not my favorite. Stamina is not the best, but I think we can build them up. I really do. I think we can build them up. Um, backup guys here, you know, nothing really to say about the backup guys. We just need them to come in and compete as much as possible. Just if something happens, step up when you need to step up. Now, Miles Sanders, I think this is a big pickup. Hubbard, another big pickup. Uh, I would like to see these guys excel as far as, as they'll take us, right? If you want another contract, you know, ex just extend your play. Keep doing that as much as possible. Sanders is out of Penn State. Really good uh, running back university as well. They just do well there. Um, fullback's obviously going to be something that we're going to look to upgrade because the 62 overall is not my favorite. Okay, wide receiving crew, I can't really complain here i think that we have some good guys i think uh mingo there's some possibilities there i don't like his agility i think smith could do okay uh, i think marshall jr out of lsu guy to watch out for i think Sheenault jr guy from colorado big big guy sturdy dude a lot you could put him at running back there's a lot this guy has to offer um Thielen is obviously you know a guy that we're bringing in veteran guy to help the young guys on our team and then to help Obviously, our quarterback, uh, to bring him up to speed, you know, more veterans around a young guy is as good as possible. You have a couple of options of what you can do. You can have a veteran quarterback, young wide receivers, or you need some veteran wide receivers and, uh, you know, young quarterback, veteran offensive line. You don't typically want to have rookies on both or else that could be a problem. So DJ Chark, I, I'm not. 100% sold on him. You know, I like to see some of these other guys promoted. We're going to let Sheenault kind of, you know, grow. He's coming up on a contract. I want to see if he's worth it um, because I'm not going to just sign you to sign you. Uh, Hurst, tight end here. I think we need to, you know, revamp this position just a little bit here. I think Tremble has a little bit of a bright future there. Coming out of Notre Dame, they're good with tight ends. Um, I think Akeem is a great left tackle. And I see him just dominating in, uh, in our offense. Left guard, something we'll look to, you know, grow in the future. All these guys are going to be uh, just kind of on the bubble of like, hey, are you good? Are we going to update them? I think the Panthers are not going to be afraid to update their offensive line. Bradley Bozeman, same thing here. Right guard, uh, I don't have an issue with this. He's, he is getting up there in age a little bit. Not like it's old for an offensive lineman by any stretch of the imagination. Um, but we're not going to replace him just to replace him. If we do replace him, it's going to be with a guy that, hey, okay, we can grow. And, uh, you know, he'll fill in quickly. That's kind of what we're looking at. Uh, Moten, I think that this contract is terrible, but, you know, it is what it is. We're stuck in this contract right now, $36 million guaranteed. He's obviously good enough. How long? I don't know. I'm thinking maybe three years. I, I don't really know. I'm not getting too excited to just replace him right away. I think the D-line here with Shy Tuttle, not a big fan of the D-line on the left side, at least. The right side, Derek Brown, I really like what I see there. And honestly, I want to put him at D-tackle. I don't really want um, Brown as a right end. You know, that, that could be... Uh, something that could work for us, but I, I want him to be in the best situation for our team. So if we got to move him to D tackle, 
uh, we'll do that, and, and he'll excel. Wherever this guy plants his, his, uh, his hand, he's going to be successful, in my opinion. Um, obviously not great in D-tackle. I think Brian Burns is an absolute monster. I really, really like Brian Burns, and there's a lot you can do with a guy. Um, the guy could play middle linebacker. He could play end. He, he could basically do whatever he wants. Um, Shaq Thompson, fast guy, used to be a safety in college uh, out of Washington. Ended up was kind of like a hybrid a little bit, and he ends up moving to middle linebacker, six foot, two hundred thirty pound uh, middle linebacker. You know, a lot to like from the guy. He's getting older. Obviously, this is this is he's cruising now. He's you know the tank's starting to get a little empty, and it's something we need to recognize. Um, some younger guys that are that are you know I think Brandon Smith from Penn State. I think there's a lot to like from this guy. I think I think we could turn this guy into somewhat of a household name but i think it would be incredibly difficult i don't think it's necessarily profitable to do so right now justin houston you know old and uh patchwork at this moment i think horn uh needs to to grow and to keep growing we need to give him the nutrition uh, to just to keep growing in this defense i think uh shin is also a guy who, I mean, he's humongous for one as a cornerback, 6'3", 220. I mean, that is just, at that speed, too, that's just honestly freakish, um, freak of nature. Uh, C.J. Henderson, guy who kind of fell off, um, kind of sucks to see. I don't know if there's much we can do to salvage uh, where he's at at this moment. It would be very difficult for us to salvage that. Very, very difficult. Um, I like to, as much as possible, salvage the guys that we, you know, that this team invested into. I don't care if that was real life or not. If I see a team invested, draft picks or, you know, drafted them, traded for them, what have you, um, I want to see it profit to some degree for the player and for the team you know that's what i'd like to see uh free safety here obviously something that we need to work on in the future von bell absolute monster has been a monster as long as he's been in the league and uh, i really really like him i i think robinson too has a little bit in the tank i don't love his speed it's not that far off of von bell but von bell is also a massive hitter um, the, he, there's a little bit of a difference there. You can't just compare speed because Von Bell will knock you right out of your socks. Um, so this is a team we're working with this year. We're going to just try to stay positive, um, do as best we can, promote the young guys, and uh, build from there. So I made some moves here, and uh, you know we're going to try this out, see what we can do. I put Mingo up at number two, and Adam Thielen's not. It's not going to matter with him because he's slot, so he'll come in on slot anyways. Marshall. Uh, I'm actually going to put him underneath Adam Thielen. Anyways, offensive line, nothing really changed here. We got Hurst. Tremble's going to be number two. So I don't expect the offense to be that great. Now, we made some moves here. Yeter, outside linebacker, we actually moved him down. And it is going to be a little bit unique for him. Um, same with Burns. We moved him down as well. And uh, it's just going to be, you know, build him up. Brown, we moved to D-tackle. And then... Uh, Everything else here is pretty much the, the same. Uh, nothing too, too crazy here. Um, so, yeah, I mean, we're just going to build up with these guys. That's really what we're going to do. And then our specialist, nothing's really insane on this at all. Um, it's, it's pretty basic. Now, I, I think these guys will do good in the spot that we have them because I think they're going to just get more play time. They're athletes, you know, and I think they're going to do fine. All right, so we got Brian Burns. And uh, I'm going to just sign him to a five-year deal. Um, it's a lot of money here, but I'm going to see if he'll like getting real tempting, huh? Yeah, that's... We're going to try to sign Jeremy. I'm going to run out of money before I know it. And these guys are... Some of these guys are going to browbeat us, right? And the whole purpose of that is because... They, they know that our contracts aren't that – our team isn't that good right now. You know, Chark, I'm not going to sign. Um, I would like to sign Sheenault, but if I'm going to sign him, I'm going to go straight six-year deal and try to make this work. If I have to, you know, figure out a way to trade him away in the future or something like that, then so be it. Uh, Frankie, I'm not 100% sold yet to, to sign him. You know, I would like to, but – $24 million is is no small potatoes there. Yeeter, 
I'm not 100% sold on Yeeter. I'd like him to prove more because right now, again, some of these guys are going to charge us more money. And uh, I don't want to... Like, this guy's really worth 1.5, maybe, right? Not 2.4. And so he'll never sign that. He just doesn't want to play with us. Eric Rowe, some of these guys, it's just... They're old. Um, there's no point at this moment in time. And uh, this one's not bad, but he's about a million dollars off. Okay. And he's getting close to that. At least 800000 off. And so I'm not willing to oversign for guys that it's it's not profitable for our team to do this. I know we're going to be legends. Do you know that we're going to be uh, a legendary team, a great team? And, and you know, we got to believe in that. And so this is a good deal here. Like, this guy is not off. Uh, he, he knows he's not going to get signed in the free agency. You know, people can complain all they want that, oh, a guy wouldn't sign. Bull crap, a guy wouldn't sign that. There's plenty of guys who would sign that because you're at least able to possibly get a contract when we know the writing's on the wall. You're not going to get that contract that you want. It's not going to happen. Another good deal here. This guy is not going to get a deal from anywhere else. So I'll sign him to a two-year deal. And he says it's not worth it for him. Fine. That's okay. That's that's completely acceptable. Um, but I'm not going to overpay for no reason. So some of these guys here, there's going to be a lot of guys that we're not going to sign this this fullback here. You're in the right, right ballpark. You're just not on the right team. Okay, so J.C. Horn, I'm not going to accept his fifth-year option. I'm going to just sign him. Um, and that's the plan. So I didn't get some of the, the bigger guys that I want to get, uh, which it's unfortunate. Um, however, we are 2-0 and on the season, and uh, we're doing – pretty fantastic all right so we're gonna bump him up a little bit here hopefully he signs and you know we spent a lot of money there but it is what it is you know we're gonna have to overpay for some of these guys if we want to keep them on the team so those guys we overpaid for i don't want to make a habit of doing this um you know i'm gonna let them know every time they screw up that's for sure yeeter i'm just not i'm not sold on yeeter you know, if Yeter wants to accept a, a far less contract, but I don't plan on you being our starter for forever. Um, that's not what I'm looking for. So right now we're actually undefeated, which is pretty beautiful. Um, but that's schemes, playbooks, and what have you. So far we had a excellent, excellent season. Um, it was fantastic thus far. So we'll go to the league here. We'll view our schedule and then go through to the regular season. We won like every game, lost our first one to the Colts. Um, this is great. We just had a great scheme fit. And then here we started taking some L's. And the reason we started taking some L's is because they accidentally clicked on uh, Bryce Young's uh, overall or upgrade to where he was, became a scrambler. And uh, it was I clicked improviser, he became a scrambler, and I was like, oh, Jesus Christ. So I had to fight it like hell, got it back on track. We still took some, some losses. Um, you got to be very careful with Bryce Young's upgrading okay um, so we did you know I would say fantastic uh, for what we probably should have done I mean we went 11 and 6 on the season um, offensively we were fourth defensively I'm assuming yeah we're third so just a consistent team all around these are typical rookie numbers here uh, rushing, we didn't do that fantastic. I know that we did face some injuries. He got injured for some games. A um, little bit painful. Thielen did great as a slot. You need a good slot guy. Sheenault did pretty good. Um, not as many touchdowns, but that's more on Bryce. Um, offensively, you know, we offensive line, we, we did pretty well. I mean, we kept Bryce upright. 21 sacks. I mean, that's very, very small. Uh, so we did great there. Thompson did fantastic. Um, he did great. Even Jones did good. Uh, Sack-wise, 12.5 from, from Frankie, which is pretty outstanding. Brian had 8.5. Uh, just great. Uh, great so far. Yeeter did really good. And so, you know, we it is hard because of the system that we're running. Typically, those guys should, in essence, be bigger. And I could move him back to outside linebacker left. Either way, it'll be okay. I just figured that it was best for us to put him on the D-line at this moment um, because I wanted to shore up that D-line. And, you know, it worked out. And we got a lot of interceptions also, a lot of interceptions on the year. J.C. Horn did great. Um, I'm assuming that we got some guys um, 
on the Offensive Player of the Year, Defensive Player of the Year. We got some of those guys. But uh, Jeffrey Simmons, uh, Anthony Richardson did good. Will Anderson, not a shock there. Where was C.J. Stroud? Stroud was up there. Nice. So best quarterback goes to Joe Burrow, Nick Chubb, Keenan Allen. Not a shock there. Uh, we'll go to the NFC here. Offensive players, Cooper Cup, Parsons, offensive rookie. Uh, a little bit of a pain there. Defensive rookie, we didn't get it. Brian ba Branch got it. Um, we didn't really get as much as we wanted. However, um, you know, we just had a good team. Overall, we were a very successful team. And Frankie, best outside linebacker. Uh, he's coming up on a contract, too. Um, just don't know if I'm going to be able to sign him. So we got some teams coming up in the playoff brackets here. So we're going against... Um, where the hell are we? Going against the Falcons. We're number two seed. Hopefully we can uh, do well here and uh, beat the Falcons. That would be nice. That would be a real nice uh, first victory, first year. be great. All right, unfortunately we lost our first game into the playoff. Um, it looks like our quarterback got injured. So that's not great. Bryce Young goes down with an injury. Uh, fantastic. Fan fantastic and uh that sucks yeah what can you do with that um when you're when your star guy goes down i don't know much you can do so it is what it is but um dang that really sucks that bites that i would have loved to have first year win the super bowl that would have been just too magical so of course it doesn't happen um doesn't happen good sacks though you know we were all up and down on the field defense tried to do what they could um, our backup quarterback just unfortunately couldn't get it done for us and uh damn sucks you know really sucks all in all i think this was a good draft we only had one second round pick so i had to trade up for the other second round pick i had to trade a second and then give up a, a fourth but i couldn't walk out of the draft without at least two seconds because we didn't have the first round pick um and that was painful because i saw this tight end here and i was like i really want to go with peak uh, vertical guy out of Wisconsin, big fella, hidden dev. He's got the Jets too. He's he's not a slow tight end by any stretch, and uh, and then also getting Lloyd. You know, I wanted this third round pick. I knew linebackers were sitting there, and uh, so that's what I was going to go with. We needed a D end, best D end in the in the draft at that point in time, in the fourth round, best we could go with. He's a normal dev, I believe. This was the best lineman in the fifth round. Um, it wasn't that good of a line class compared to what I was used to. It was kind of uh, not the greatest. And then two linebackers here. Um, I wouldn't say they're bad overalls at all. I would get these guys. Obviously, I got them. So, you know, we can we just got to keep improving. It just, you know, check boxes. That's basically all we're doing is checking boxes. At the end of checking all the boxes, you look back, you got a Super Bowl contending team. You know, just put your nose down and just get after it. All right, so here's our team starting out right now. We got Peak. He's going to make his performance. Um, we got Martinez. Yeah, offensive line. Eh, we got to keep working on that one. Same wide receivers. No different. Um, we got a new fullback, but they want to put Tremble in. I'm fine with that. I, I don't care enough. If you want to put Tremble in, I'll... I'll I'll put Tremble in. I don't care. And give him a little love. We can move him to fullback if you want. I don't really care. Um, we're going to start Poole. It's kind of crazy. But that's what we're going to start Lloyd. And we're going to start Woodley. I think it's time, Woods, it's it's time to build these young guys up and let them go experience the beautiful world of, of nasty football. Specialist, nothing really crazy. Lloyd, we're going to give him a shot there, see what the hell he can do. Um... So it is what it is. Moved a couple of guys around. Nothing crazy. All right. So JC Horn, it's time to sign him. I want to go a six-year deal. Uh, I'll go a seven-year deal. I have no problem with that. Seven-year deal. I'll sign him in now. Derek Brown, um, I'm going to go a seven-year deal on him as well. Um, oof. Uh, probably going to go a six-year deal. Not higher than that. Good with that. Good with that contract there. Jackson, he wants a one-year deal. Mm, 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 mm. That, that I I don't I don't feel confident with that one. I can go three year deal here. 
That he doesn't want to do that. Shaq, I'm not giving you a three-year deal, bud. Uh, it's not going to happen. Woods, we're going to we're cutting ties with Woods after this year. Um, I'm not going to sign Hubbard. Tommy Tremble, it's, it's just not profitable to sign them. Um, just not profitable. Some of these guys, it's like it's going to take so much investment to get them where I would need to get them in order for them to be successful. It's just going to take a massive, massive investment that I'm just not so sure I want to do. I'll sign this fullback to a seven-year deal, and he's not having it thus far. Um, so Akeem, I'm also not going to sign his. But uh, right now we're doing good. Um, I just, just we got to keep doing better. Tough season here, eight and nine. Definitely not what we wanted. Um, no doubt about that. It was tough. Tough year. Good in uh, passing, not as much in running. Uh, defensively, we struggled, and we're missing Lavu. We had some injuries as well. I had to move guys around like crazy uh, just to get our system up to speed because we lost some guys, moved a couple of guys some different positions, and uh, you know that's what you got to do. You got to make sure you evolve uh, as quickly as possible. Rushing again, um, he gets injured. Miles Sanders tends to get injured. And he, he averages like 14 games a season. So it is painful. You know, it makes me a little bit frustrated uh, to, to keep that process going. Um, Sheenault's doing good. You know, they, of course, we'd like to see a little bit more out of our guys. Um, but Shin did fantastic. Six interceptions, 115 tackles. The dude was all over the place. Um, Thompson did good. We moved him back to middle linebacker, main middle linebacker, got a little bit more production. I was hoping the, the young guy would do a little bit better. Um, he didn't. I actually moved Lloyd to a right end, and I know it's a weird situation for him there um, to help with some of that speed. And then uh, I put Burns over top. And, uh, yeah, it's, you know, we were just moving guys around trying to get the best spot for him. I couldn't get Lloyd in the best spot. And I needed his talent enough. And, you know, he was talented. He, he did some work back there uh, because he's quick, strong as well, and quick. So as much as he's only 235 pounds, he's about, you know, dang near 20 pounds off of what he should be at that position. He's a squatty guy. And uh, we we're like, all right, we're going to try something unique here. And it uh, worked for the most part. Not as good as we'd have liked it to work. But man, oh man, they were just we just didn't have that defensive presence. You know, our D-line basically had Brown on it. And aside from that, we just, you know, struggled. Uh, struggled with getting guys in the right place. So this year I'm going to be really spending my time to just get the guys in the right place. Um, I don't even really care to look at the yearly awards. Honestly, I just don't give a crap about the yearly awards. Um I just I want to get to it and start winning. Um, but yeah, Falcons, Bengals, nothing shocking here at all. So we did sign Joel Petonio to a year contract, which is going to help obviously the offensive line just you know get better and better and better. Um, we do need a right guard, so I have some abilities here. Maybe Martinez moving there. Um, I, you know, I was trying to get another guy too. He didn't sign with us. Uh, Try to sign him into a two-year deal. Um, not a lot on free agency. There are a lot of these teams are signing their guys. I mean, it's a strange, it's it's unrealistic how Madden has it because there'd be more guys on the board, and uh, there's not. It's 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 strange. It's it's really weird. But you know, we'll we'll do fine. We're gonna keep building up and uh, doing what we got to do to succeed. So for our draft, the big theme was pick the best guys that we can put in the right position. Right, that was basically it. Not even just the best guys on the board. Um, just trying to get guys that, hey, maybe this guy, he's a D tackle, but maybe he can play left end or right end and what have you. And so um, that's just kind of what we were doing there. We picked up a good D tackle here. I had to trade again for a second round pick uh, because we didn't. So next year's pick is going to be a little bit saucy and not in a good way. Um, so, but we ended up getting this left guard here. We got a center. We needed uh, a left guard and a center. That's what we needed. So I had to to 
do that. Cornerback here, um, we ended up picking up Callaway out of Nebraska. Uh, good for the third round, really good for the third round. Um, and then another D tackle here was just, all right, but I knew I had some guys in the later rounds uh, that we were going to be able to pick up. And then the left end here, I'm just trying to solidify that D line. I already knew I solidified it with the two offensive linemen. Uh, we're covered in that regard. And then uh, and he's going to be a right guard. And then we got a halfback here, backup halfback Pierce in the sixth round, and then a, a good cornerback in the seventh round as well. Slot guy who I just couldn't pass up on. Um, a really good pickup. I think the draft was exactly what we wanted it to be. But boy, oh boy, it was um, it was a lot of work, a lot of work on this one because I had a I had a scout pretty, you know, pretty good to to make sure I was getting the right guys. This cornerback I was really happy to get. Um, so yeah, good seventh round guy. All right, let's go over our team here. We got Bryce, 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 my boy. Um, he he's got an X factor, man. This is just absolutely phenomenal i'm gonna do closer on him as well uh, i do want to do a homer on him clutch is not too 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 bad but i'm gonna do homer on him for right now um so this is what we're gonna do for him uh, he's gonna look great amazing um parker or not no parker's this guy he is gonna be slot and we got him off the free agency it's my boy um so yeah pretty good there and Sheenault doing great. Um, offensive line looking better. Peak is a superstar dev. Love it. D line is a is a dang mess right now. But the you know, linebacking crew, Kenneth Murray's gonna do good there. I think he's gonna light it up. Burns, he's gonna be in that spot, but then he's gonna also go to the rushing left end. Lloyd, he's getting off the the D line because he just he's not big enough. But you know we had to do what we had to do last year. Callaway uh, is going to be number two. Chin is going to be Shin is going to be um, slot and Woodley. Nothing. Bell's hanging on tough. So you know team's good, but we're low overall. You know it's it, we're we're gonna we got to out scheme them. We got to put our guys in the right position, dominate in that regard, and it's not easy. It's not easy with this team. So that's really what we're trying now. And uh, we had a good draft. We had a really good draft. It's just, you know, it's just building this young team up. All right. So we went 10 and 7. I and mean, we're playing our arch nemesis in the uh, game here. And, it, you know, it was a tough game. It really was. Or a tough season. Um, good in passing. Offensively, we were ninth, third in passing yards, second in passing TDs. Defensively, we were 12th. So. You know, our team's starting to come around. We had that little issue last year, but um, it is what it was. Uh, Sanders played more games this year. Didn't do great in our system. He did He did okay. I really could use a better running back. Um, uh, just a better running back all in all. It's something I'm going to be looking for in the offseason here. Sheenault exploded. He did his thing. The guy's he's doing well. Uh, Mingo's doing well, so we're building them up. C.J. Parker's starting to light it up. Peak did great, great production in the red zone. Uh, so all in all, really good. If we look at our, let's go back here. Um, Sacks, we got 28, not too bad there. He's playing more in the pocket. Um, Kenneth Murray, fantastic. You know, defensively, it's not like we were massive on sacks, but we were consistent. Uh, and that's the big thing there. Defensively, Horn did great in interceptions. We got interceptions across the board. Um, you know, we just... We just did what we had to do, and uh, where the hell are we? Oh, yeah, okay, there we are. So, you know, points, we were passing touchdowns, we were second there. Rushing touchdowns, we weren't nearly at the top. First downs, um, we were up there as well. So, you know, we were doing good in certain categories. Uh, total yards, too, we were 12th. We look at the passing yards here. Um, it's kind of something we struggled on just a little bit. Not, I wouldn't say too much rushing, though. We did, I would say, pretty fantastic. We were one of the top teams in stopping the rush. Where are we? There we go. We're, you know, top half, I should say. QB sacks, not like it was amazing, but at the same point in time, it was shared production. Um, interceptions, we got 13. So you could see, you know, we were, 
we were just good production a good production team and that's what we were looking for we didn't want to you know nothing crazy um Lamar Jackson wins it. D Hop gets best wide receiver. Yeah, nothing crazy there. Offense player of the year. Uh, we did have a guy nominated, uh, which is Sheenault. Defensive player of the year. We did not have a single guy nominated, but that's because it was shared value. We just had a lot there. CJ Parker was up there, but the Bears got a guy, defensive rookie. Uh, we had one guy who's down on the list. Didn't, we didn't really have too many rookies. Uh, on our defense Bryce Young gets fourth I don't believe that I think he should have gotten higher running back this is where we just need to solidify and get a better back Sheenault third best wide receiver in the league in the NFC which is a good thing to have in the old back pocket and you know in reality we already know that Brown's way better than that he's pro bowl can contention no doubt um but yeah, I mean, we're just building up, trying to put guys in the right spot, and Horn got second best deep back. So it is what it is, you know. We're we're just we're doing our thing and um, trying to dominate as much as physically possible. We're looking at the regular. We beat the Falcons the first week and then lost to them uh, the the last time we played them. They they slapped us up. I mean, just slapped us up couple injuries but still we got to beat them so we're going up against a uh, I would say a tough team because this team is a rival this team is a scary team and uh, yeah so we'll see Texans made it in Titans made it in as well but Texans got CJ Stroud maybe we'll be to get to go face CJ Stroud NFC's tough for us because the Cowboys are just great in simulation so we ended up beating um, the Falcons and which is nice because last year I think the Falcons were the ones who beat us last year too, because um, we got we had some guys injured and what have you. Uh, and so Bijan did good. Our running backs just this is where we're just struggling with our running backs. Um, Sanders gets injured. Just it's painful, you know. It is it, during the end of the season I can't rely on him. You know, Sheenault was huge for us, absolutely huge. Um, we did our best to stop Pitts. We did a decent job. You know, they they it was a it was a big game defensively too. It was a big game. Um, they got a sack. It wasn't like crazy massive numbers, but good tackles across the board. They had a little bit more tackles than we did, so it was a little bit more shared. Um, you know, no sacks, no interceptions. It was pretty interesting and of course now we got to play the cowboys um which you know everyone's writing us off now that we're not going to beat the cowboys and you know we just got to go out and show up and rely on our schemes and and the player personnel to just work together right now it's not looking so hot and uh, you know we got to get the running back situated because we can't keep going in with the injured running backs it's just he's got to be able to play the entire season. Well, this was a massive game for us. Absolutely massive. Honestly, I had my doubts. Um, Dak Prescott threw all over us. The young guy here, uh, Bryce, struggled a wee bit through an interception. Uh, Harvey Pierce, the rookie we got out of Tejas, did great. Two TDs. Not a lot of yards per carry, but they had Vaughn. And so it was, you know, backup central. And uh, seeing who can who can win the backups, and um, our guy was more had more production. Uh, you you get 14 points. That's a huge number compared to zero. So when we have a running back who can come in and show up and and you know play out, that's that's what we need. Mingo showed up big, um, really big. Gallup for them was great. Robinson was great for them. C.D. Lamb, Parker. We had a lot of young guys that that came up, and. Um, Sheenault, I, I don't know what happened to Sheenault. I don't know where he is. I don't know what happened to him, but nothing. Zero production from our star receiver at the moment, which is uh, unfortunate. Anyways, the rookie, Chris Wood, Woodward, Woodard, Woodard, Jesus, ha just absolutely crushed this name in a horrible way. Um, you, I almost want to say Woodward. It's just so much easier than 
but yeah, anyways, our boy Chris out of Central Michigan, the rookie, did fantastic. Uh, one and a half sacks, and then, uh, you know, great. One and a half sacks from a rookie, absolutely fantastic. And he was a linebacker who moved him down. He did great. Um, Wells shared a sack. It was just fantastic. And all in all, team did great. We're one game away, which is huge. And uh, we're playing the Vikings. So Vikings did well against the Seahawks. And then the Texans lost their first game. Chiefs are in and the Titans. So I'm not really worried about the AFC right now. Just I got to finish the NFC. So a big game here with the uh Vikings, I mean, we're on a roll right now. Technically, we shouldn't be on a roll. And, of course, Bryce Young goes down with an injury. Matt Corral steps up. I, mean, I don't know what the hell's going on with our team. I, honestly, I can't tell you. I don't know what the hell's going on where our team, guys are getting injured, and then our backups are coming in. Matt Corral just comes in and craps on the entire system. I mean, and then they get, they have Jacoby Brissett. Uh, it's bananas is what it is. Pierce doing good but didn't get enough um you know i gotta look at our injuries and see our injuries but reed stepped it up young guy coming out and uh dominating two tds 111 yards this is how you win the backups win you champions championships that, that's really it if your backups play out of their gourd you do good chris is is playing out of his mind right now his mom's watching his dad's clapping He's, he's trying to impress him, and uh, he's, he's doing work out there. So, love seeing it. Um, so far, so good. Even a backup here, Carson Wells coming out and, and doing some work. It's great to see. Great to see. So, we ended up losing the game. Um, don't love it, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, you know, we had a good year. First year, we did great. Second year, we stumbled. And then third year, we go to the Super Bowl, and we lose. Um, so, you know, painful, tough, but um, we're close. You know, we're close to getting that, that big one, the big nasty. Very, very close. So we ended up signing Ronnie uh, Staley. We moved him to right tackle. Um, Moten, we, we were like, all right, we'll try to, you know, upgrade that position. I like him a lot. Um, but if I'm going to pay a lot of money for a guy, I want to pay for a guy of this high of an overall, uh, you know, and help increase that and uh, give Young some more talent around him. Backup quarterback here is just something that, that that's just, you know, nothing huge there. We typically, if you don't get it the first time in your overall, in your uh, eval, you're, you're typically not going to get these guys um, until you simulate simulate so he got picked up by the titans uh, good for him bell gets picked up by the steelers we didn't sign bell um, i'm gonna just try to touch touch those up through the draft well, we don't have too many draft picks so this is going to be tough for me um, but it is what it is i'm just going to try to build it up and i uh, also got to look to did i get a tight end that i was looking for because i am looking to add on a tight end and uh you know bring one on i don't want to spend too too much money so i am gonna you know i'm gonna low ball to a degree and uh see what we can do but um yeah we're gonna go to the draft and we'll be we'll be excellent we'll be, we'll be good we'll be fine so we didn't have as many draft picks and uh so you know i was trying to move around as much as possible and get the the best guys that we could get and uh i was thinking of putting him to a middle linebacker eric bush I got another safety here right outside linebacker, just filling the void, fits the scheme. Um, and then wide receiver here, uh, Saxton, who is a bigger guy, decent speed too, not super big, but um, decent. You know, we're just trying to just build up as much as possible and get this team ready uh, to be dominant, to be the best in the world, to just, you know, crush everyone's dreams but your own. All right, so here's our team. Running back's been pissing me off. Uh, so we're moving Sheenalt because Sheenalt's a beast. We're going to move him and kind of have some uh, Debo Samuels going on here. We're moving him to running back. Um, and then wide receiver, we're just going to, you know, Mingo's going to have to step up and do some, some big dog stuff there. Um, Peak is now at X-Factor as well. What a tight end, by the way. I love that tight end. And then Staley. Stanley, welcome, welcome into the team. And then um, 
We're going to move Altridge to left guard. Uh, I thought I already did that, but he's going to be left guard. And then uh, defensively, you know, just continuously moving uh, forward on it. So doing good with that. But, yeah, our team's good. Team's good. We're ready to win. All right, so uh, Bryce Young, my boy, he's uh, he's getting expensive here. I hope he signs with us. Uh, this, this is concerning here. That's concerning to me. Um, I got to sign Mingo. I'll, I'll sign this, and he's going to just crap on my face. and That's what he's going to do. He's just going to crap my face. Um, uh, Julius Chestnut. What a name, dude. What a name. Clearly, I'm going to sign this guy. Like, I'll give you a... I'll give you four years at this. How, how does that sound? I'll give you a 1.1. Yeah, I'm happy. See, you're a smart man. He's like, I want to play, learn from you. Same with this guy, Reed. He's like, I want to learn from you. I'll give you four years because you're not, if I release you, you're not going anywhere. He's, he's done. His NFL career is over. So, um, not signing this guy. Free safety here. I'll sign this dude. You're not going anywhere, so I'm, uh, I'll give you a million dollars at four years, 28, but, dude, you're not, trust me. You're, you're practice squad. You have practice squad written all over you, and that's not a good uh, philosophy. This guy's crazy. Seven million? Please. Uh, you trying to fart in my mouth? What the hell's that? It, insulting, stupid, uh, absolutely stupid. What does this guy want? You really want I'll give you a five-year deal. Uh, take 200000 less. Fine. Whatever you want, buddy. You're not getting nothing. You're a nobody. <laughs> I wouldn't say that to him, but I'd be like, get the hell out of my office. Get out. That's what I'd say. I'd be like, hey, man, you know what the writing is on the wall. It's that you're going you're gonna to be uh, absolutely terrible, and there's nothing you can do about it. And so if you want to be terrible, um, then do that. That's, that's it. You want to be terrible? You want to be a nobody? Huh? Do you like when your parents cheer for you? All right, the wide receivers are, are what's killing me. Um, but this is killing me too. I mean, you got to sign this. Uh, I'm starting to like the offer. Uh, I'm starting to want to put you in a headlock. Is what I'm wanting to do. Um, phew. come on, Mingo, my boy. What are you doing? Let's go. Light it up. Sign this deal. It's getting real tempting. It's getting real tempting to kick you in the shin. It's getting real tempting to kick you right in the shin. How much do I got to give this dude? I got to give you everything in my solar verse. What are you doing, Bryce? Dude, no, you're not going. To, you're not going, bro. Trust me. You're not going, dude. I'm going to franchise tag you so much you're going to crap your pants. Mingo, this is the last we're dealing with this, bud. The last we're dealing with this, my guy. Oh, Mingo, Mingo, Mingo. You made the wrong decision, Mingo. You made the wrong... You pissed on the wrong shoes. <sighs> Jesus. Alex Britt? Get the hell out of here. All right, so we made a big-time trade for June. Um, I I had to trade him away, and I traded him. Uh, and a se I got a second-round pick. I gave up a second-round pick as well. Um... And so, yeah, we picked we picked him up, and uh, you know, good move here. I'm not, I'm done playing around with it. You know, I'm just absolutely done with it. I need a number one guy. He's a two year pro. He's he's not doing that excellent. It's not like he's exploding on the scene. Um, but yeah, we just got to be done with the the crap. I, I need a wide receiver. I need a number one. The running backs drive me nuts. This team has been just uh, a nightmare for me. Not not like the guys are good, but it's been just like such a unique experience of being like hey uh we got to move this guy here we got to move this guy here we got to move this guy to this spot and just keep winning because we we have no business winning as many games as we're winning the reason we're winning as many games as we're winning and that i'm such a successful and beautiful and handsome coach and i smell amazing is because of the fact that i'm making some boss hog moves and those boss hog moves are are literally grabbing guys and going you need to play running back what what coach? Yeah, you need to play linebacker. You need to go down three-point stance, my guy, because I need you to play this. 
I need you to play that. You're just finding areas of which you need to tune up, and that's what you got to do with these teams that they have no overall. Uh, because this is ridiculous. I, I, I you know, Sheenault is a great running back. He's 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 built for this. He's fine. Um, but the wide receivers has just been death to me. And so I, I've had to I had to build up the tight end. I finally got a really good tight end. The wide receivers, all right, building those guys up. Offensive line, this is taking three. I'm going on year four now, and I'm just now solidifying the offensive line just now i'm just now year four going on solidifying the defensive line i mean it's just been one thing after another after another james lloyd has played everywhere this dude has played literally everywhere jc horn my dog i love this guy absolute dog all right safety's been moving them around it's it, this has been a this has been a long journey all right so we are in the wild card which really pisses me off we're at 84 overall total and we this is this is when you just have a really good team and you know how to just kick some butt we're 12 and 5 okay and i don't know i'm guessing dallas it's probably stupid dallas oh it's it's la <laughs> nice nice um, which just pisses me off because we're not going away. We're not going away. That's not who we are. Do you understand what Carolina Panthers football is about? Do you understand? They're seventh in offense, great passing. We're 30th in defensive yards, but don't let that fool you. Don't let that fool you. Um, Sheenal, is he a great running back? Is he the, the best in the world? No, he's not. Um, but still, Saxon exploded on the scene uh so yeah that's just what it was we we're just doing everything we can haven't been able to get a good running back in the free agency which is terrible i haven't been able to get a good one in the draft as of yet which is shocking because i usually find really good ones um but kenneth uh did good Derek brown nine and a half sacks pool he's finally stepping up becoming a man he's huge by the way six one two seventy that's a very short guy who's very huge um so yeah, all in all, really good. Uh, Murray got four sack or four interceptions. Horn, blah 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 blah. Um, I don't really want to even look at the. I don't care about the awards. I'm gonna be honest. I don't know if you guys do. Uh, let me know if you guys do. If you care about the awards, I care about this award. Look at you go, Saxton. Look at you go, big dog. You were drafted what the seventh round, sixth round, something terrible. Look at you go. Look at you go, best man in America, right there. Um, Bryce Young's up there too. <laughs> Look at him go. Look at him go. Where's my boy? Uh, he's not up there. All right. I'm ready to win this championship. I'm ready to crap on the soul of everybody. I'm pissed off. I'm done. Everyone doubting us. Everyone talking crap. And you know what? We're just going to, we got to go just out there and smack them right in the mouth. That's what we got to do. Let's go, Panthers. Let's go play some Panther football today. Let's not lose this. For the love of God, let's not lose this. If we lose this, I'm going to lose it. Okay, I'm going to lose it. Um, defensively, though, is where I really want to jab this up here. Boost play recognition. Let's hit that again. Snapping off. Looking saucy. Love it. But we shouldn't be here technically because we're, you know, we're not a high overall team. These other teams are high overalls and we're just elbowing them, putting them on the ground, purple nurples, you know, all that stuff. And, uh, and we shouldn't be here technically, but we're just coming out with our clipboard, spitting on the ground, and telling them, let's go play some ball. All right, let's go over this too, because I'm sure someone's probably like, dude, I want to see the regular season, bro. Okay, bro, let's look at it. We we beat the Bears, smacked them up. The bear, the, the Cowbeezies came up and just took us down. And then uh, Seahawks took us down. We were struggling. And then we just started saying, all right, who wants some? And then we were hearing, you know, it was off and on, off and on, blah, 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 blah. And then at the end, we were just like, dub, 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 dub. Everybody who wanted some got some. And then some. Yes. Yes. Take it. You were high overall, and we beat you down like nothing. We beat you down so bad. Just beat you to nothing. I love it. What was the box score again on that? Everyone said, oh, Panthers thought they're going to lose. They don't have that team. Uh, 49ers have the best team in the world. Look at them. They're so amazing. Everyone's handsome on their team. Our guys are ugly. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 
I don't think Bryce Young took kindly to that. Three TDs. Dominated. Where's where's Sheenal, huh? Where where are you at? What happened to you? You're the guy who got injured? Is that you, Sheenal? Jesus Christ, running backs. What's wrong with you guys? Look at look at Ice. What the hell? Our backup tight end just came in and just he just crinkle cutted people. It was beautiful. Chestnut? Come on, what the hell is this? Did everybody in America get to get a pass from from Young? Because it seems like it. Did he just pass to everybody? This is too much. Our our offense is our D. This is like a movie, honestly, like a movie. Because we just have guys go down with the injury, and we're just like throw in the water boy, and he gets like four or five catches for five hundred yards, two TD. I mean, it's ridiculous. And they're like, do you got anyone that we could just sign real quick? Look at Lloyd with three sacks. Look at you, Lloyd. Look at you, Lloyd. Look at you. Oh, my God. What a handsome fella. Look at him. This is the guy that everyone said sucked. And you're terrible. You're, you're a mess. He's going to amount to nothing. And look at him go. Gets three sacks on the game. I love it. I love when one guy just, just explodes on the scene and just craps all over everybody. I love it. Look at Kyle Tate. Look at Tate out of Auburn. Ah. Oh. You, you, it, amazing. I just, I love it. Now we're playing the Cowboys. Or who the hell we're playing? We're playing the Cowboys. By the way, I hate you, Falcons. Just want to say that out loud. Um, I hate, anytime I get a division rival, I don't care what team I'm rebuilding. If I'm rebuilding the team for you, I hate our rivals. I hate them. I absolutely hate them. Once I stop rebuilding, I don't care. Uh, it goes away. But as I'm rebuilding, I'm just like, oof. I just want to put them in a headlock. So we beat the Cowboys. And they're, they're so good. This looks like it's to be our year, but you, honestly, you just never know. This, the NFL. You know, this is this is ridiculous. Um, Panthers, or not the Panthers, but the uh, Ravens and the Chiefs are going up. Look at the Falcons. What a stupid logo. Stupid name. Falcons. It's so stupid. Um, and I don't, you know, the minute I'm done with this rebuild, I'll stop hating on the Falcons because I don't really hate them. But right now, I hate them deeply the the passion inside me because i'm i'm the panthers of my organization right now everyone else can piss off and the falcons are just stupid just so dumb um so yeah uh but you know look at bryce young just lighting it up and then running was not bad by Sheenault. not too bad sharper what the hell is this about east carolina look at you go look at you go buddy Look at you go. What do we got on defense of Rooney? Chris, look at you. What a beautiful, beautiful gentleman. Extinguished gentleman here. Uh, Carson Wells. God, this kid just plays. He's the best backup in America. He is. God, if you need something done from a backup, that's the guy. Falcons, Falcons, Falcons. I told you your logo is stupid. Stupid logo. Um... Look at him. Desmond Ritter's just, wow, he's good, man. He's doing good. The guy is doing good. But look at look at our boy. Look at Bryce Young. Look at him. He's, he's, a, he's a man of no words. He doesn't even have to say anything. He's going to come out and dominate. Bijan's a beast. Bijan is a beast. Sheenault, he's doing his thing. We're uh, trying our best to just, I mean, what is this backup stuff that we got going on here? Our backups are just, this is why you need to be great from start to finish on the depth chart. Start to finish. You got to be good. Every one of you guys, I don't care if I'm looking at a third string kicker. You know, you better be good. All right? You better you better play the part. If not, you need to get out. Um, But look at that. What the hell? It's beautiful. Kyle Pitts. God dang, I hate covering this guy. I hate it. I hate covering him. Um, he's a beast. Well, I'm not actually covering him, but I'm paying guys to cover him, and they hate it. Look at Chris. What a beautiful man. What is this? Rasheem Green. Look at you. Oh, my God. Chris is a playoff monster. Is this guy not a playoff freak? I mean, dear God. Chris is just amazing in the playoff. I, I, I hate the Chiefs. I hate them. Patrick Mahomes. Oh, man. 
I don't know. Just really frustrating. We are just so close. So close. And yet, these Chiefs come in and we, we face them. And they just beat us. And it's like, oh my God. This I hope they go back this next year. I hope they do. I hope we go back. I hope we can face them again because I'm. this is... I mean, their overall is way better than ours. I, I get it. I, I understand. You know, and it's just I'm, I'm building up the best I can. You know, I really am. I'm putting my heart and soul in this freaking rebuild. And uh, I do it with every rebuild. This is just, it's its aggravating because we're so close. And it's like, dang, if I just got this better or that better. Um, ah, you know, just keep building and building and just keep stacking and stacking. And just, hey, its it's not perfect. All right, add this. All right, add this. All right, add this. And I just, I don't, I just don't ever want to ever quit and and uh, be defeated I don't like it I don't like it it's frustrating so here's the team that we drafted we drafted uh, Rucker big physical guy really good uh, wide receiver and then a good halfback this is a guy that I was like finally we got a halfback and and you know I want to build on this guy here so I got a guy out of Florida State uh, I like what I see out of him and uh you know, rest of the guys here was just, we didn't have that many good picks. And uh, so, yeah, just, you know, filling the void in certain areas and testing some of these guys. You know, this guy's really good at blocking. So that's why I picked him up because he's just a dang good blocker. So um, might start him and actually get rid of the other guy. It just depends because this guy's blocking is out of control for a uh, fullback. And, uh, yeah. So, D-tackle, again, just filling the void in some of these areas. All right. So, here's our team moving forward. Got rid of uh, Sheenault, traded him for a second-round pick in the offseason, and then signed Zach in the offseason as well. I was clicking the evals and, you know, or going through our evals, and he I didn't see him, so I didn't know if we were going to get him. Once we got done with the draft, I saw that he was on our team, and uh, it was beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So um, he's going to be our second string power back. We're going to start Matthews, the rookie. And then um, same team, basically. You know, a very good team. Uh, but, you know, it's been tough on wide receiver. We didn't get a lot of good wide receivers in the free agency. We didn't get a lot of good wide receivers late in the draft. The best was like low 70s. And, uh, and that's still tough when you don't have a main guy. You know, when you don't have that, like, that 85 overall and above guy that's like, this is our, this is this is uh, the dude who's going to, you know, bring home the bread. The other guys are going to eat off of it and continuously grow, and uh, that didn't happen. So, um, traded for June, but that was the best, that was the best thing that we uh, could do. Defensively, you know, we're building up, and of course, our... Um, our D end is, is is injured. Pool, where's Pool? I mean, he's he's injured. Pisses me off. He's only out for a week though, so that's not too bad. Um, so J C Horn, uh, Shin, and uh, the rest of these guys. I'll tell you what, Lloyd has turned into a beast. I love this guy. Sacrificed so much for the team. Kenneth Murray too. He's just great. Burns is obviously amazing uh, because it's Burns. I mean, who who doesn't like Burns? Woodley. Tate also our safeties our defense looks a lot better than when we started we're an 85 overall which is nice uh pretty nice so hopefully we have a good year this year so this was one one hell of a season um it was anybody's ball game to be able to get the first seed in the nfc south and to get to the playoff um clearly we were going to be in the wild card but we were just beating each other up I mean that this was so tough between the the Bucks, the Falcons, and then us. Um, the Bucks come into town right in the very beginning, and these are all high overall teams. So it was it was a very unique one. We were just grinding each other up in this in this uh, conference or this division here. Bucks come to town, and our home stadium beat us. It's like all right, this is terrible. Then the Eagles come to town, beat us, and it's like all right, they didn't just beat us; they they kicked our butts. And so then the Cowboys, we go to Dallas. They beat us. 
Jaguars come come to town. We beat them. It was like finally, all right, we're starting to maybe get some things cooking. Uh, go to Houston, beat Houston. Uh, go to New York, lose to New York by a point, and then we went to Atlanta, which was huge because we always struggle with the Falcons. They're a great team, and we beat them by six points. And it was like, all right, this is great because we already lost to the Bucks. And the uh, and the Bucks at this point were like first seed, and we lose to the Bucks in the very beginning of the season. We have the Bucks uh, come to our stadium, and it's like this, now we have to go to their stadium at the second time we play, and hopefully we can beat them. And that's not a great thing to rely on. Um, so then we lose to the Bills, we beat the Rams, we beat the Saints, and then lose to the Commanders, beat the Saints again. Poor Saints. We go. Atlanta comes to us after we beat them in their home field. They beat us in our home field. And it was like, you're just kidding me. We beat the Titans, beat the Packers. We go to Tampa, and it was like, this game was huge. This was the one who was going to be the top dog. And then we beat Tampa at at Tampa. And it was just like, you're, you're just absolutely kidding. Then we lose to the Colts. We get Mo drugged through the mud with the Colts. So this was a unique as hell um season i mean it was just people will look at this the records and go ah that division sucks hell no we were literally punching the crap out of each other i mean it was just pure just it's like a it was like a bar fight in a closet is what it felt like it just was ridiculous um bryce young did really good i uh, can't complain there our rookie hey, it wasn't it we really split carries i mean th as you can see here we we just straight up split across the middle um and that's good and bad. There's good parts of that. June did great at Boston College, which is amazing because Boston College just does not produce that many high-end um, wide receivers. It's just they just don't do it. Uh, but yeah, it, all in all, it was like really good season. Sack-wise, nothing crazy, but still productive. Um, Interception-wise, not as much as we used to get. You know, it's it's a tough one for us. It's really tough because to, to maintain a, a level, I mean, we, we if you look at us success-wise, right, of course, we don't have a ring. I don't got a big, huge, shiny ring on my finger right now after five years. But I've gone to two Super Bowls in five years, countless, won countless games. You know, my record is probably, I would say, a pretty solid record, you know, um, we're a dangerous team, and to keep that level of just being that dangerous in the NFL is just not an easy task. It's just it's not the way it is. So Greg Rucker um, did good, very, very good. He became a Rookie of the Year, best QB. It's yours truly, and uh, good, solid, solid work. You know, I'm pretty shocked, though, that our wide receiver wasn't, June wasn't higher. It was 1,600 yards. It's a little bit of a shock. Falcons are always out there. Um, they're just they're a good team. Falcons are a good team. So yeah, this this week we got um, that Philly team who beat us. So Philly already beat us in the regular season, and uh, hopefully we can beat them up. All right, so we ended up beating the Eagles, which is great. I love it because they beat us in the regular season. So to come back. And uh, slap them up a little bit was just great. You know, it's not like we absolutely dominated, but um, we won. And that was, that's all we needed. So it was great. It was, that was fantastic. I love that. Um, Jalen Hurts was their biggest dude. So we had him on the run. Uh, they had Swift too, which is amazing. But um, June, the rookie, shout out to our boy. Did fantastic. Where's he out of again? Florida State. Yes, yes, yes. I do remember now. Uh, wide receivers did great. Greg Rucker did fantastic. Uh, fantastic. Murray, obviously, getting a lot of... Man, they got a lot of tackles. They got a lot of tackles. Clean game, no sacks, no interceptions either. Very, very clean game. Uh, interesting. So, of course, the Chiefs are up, our arch nemesis, the ones we hate from across the pond. Uh, we can't stand them and uh, hate them with every ounce of our soul. They've stolen two Super Bowls from us, and I, I really hate them. Um, so uh, the 49ers and the 
the Vikings, the Giants. I'm just glad we're not facing the Falcons again. I'm just sick of the Falcons. All right, so we ended up dismantling the uh, um, Giants. We beat them. So, of course, Bengals versus Chiefs. Man, this is, uh, this is crazy. So, our quarterback goes down with an injury, apparently. And that sucks because I hope he's not injured. Um, but we just threw all over him. I mean, this is for our backup guy to go in and throw three TDs is pretty insane. But yeah, Matthews did good. He got a lot of a lot of touches, but he just didn't. Um, I tell you what, Saxton did great. Ole Miss wide receiver there, and then uh, Greg Rucker. Dude is good, man. I like him a lot. A lot of touchdown passes here. Isaiah's always a trusty backup out of Coastal Carolina. Out of Coasty. Uh, that's my boy. So they got Isaiah Simmons too. Kenneth Murray's got a sack. Interception goes to our boy Jeremy, who's way too big as a corner, by the way. That guy is a freak of nature. All right, well, this just really sucks. We just laid a freaking egg. Laid an egg. He got injured again. Bryce, Bryce, dude. God dang it. We got sacked just so much, but... Oh, he got injured again. That is just killing me, man. He... he. I don't know what it is, but in the later part of his career, he's just been getting more and more injured. And it pisses me off. I get it. Look, you got sacked four times. Our backup guy comes in, you get sacked two times. I understand. We're not protecting you, clearly enough. They, The Minnesota just found areas in our offensive line to and that that that, that happens that's going to occasionally happen where there's a team that's going to be able to get through and get pressure um and that sucks and it's just that's the way the nfl works you know but and the same thing here is even though this guy you know we clearly got enough pressure on him even though it doesn't show the sacks doesn't tell the full story that this guy's his rating was worse than both of our quarterbacks, and he threw an interception. So, you know, it's just like, Jesus Christ, this is where they won, was running on us, which is insane because our defense usually is incredibly difficult to run on. Um, this pisses me off. It just pisses me off. Sometimes simulation is just its a ridiculous. Um, they just, I don't know. It's just ridiculous sometimes. Anyways, I really want to do five more years, so hopefully enough of you guys like this content that it's worth our while to do five more years. Uh, this guy, this this feral, what the hell, dude? Cleveland, sacked the freaking butt cheeks off of our boys here. This is ridiculous. Anyways, um, yeah, hopefully you guys like this. We could do five more years and win a dang Super Bowl. This is killing me inside.